What's going on smart people? A completed bachelor's, two research internships, and over a month of physics graduate school so far under my belt, and I am just now finding out that there is a quiz online that will tell me what field of science I'm supposed to be going into. Needless to say, I kind of hope it tells me physics, that way this was not all for nothing, but if it ends up telling me that I should be going into pediatric astrology, then the quiz has spoken and I will do what I have to do, but let's get started. As always, I will leave a link in the description so that you can take this quiz along with me. Let's get to it, guys. What career in science and maths should I choose? Which of these did you most enjoy studying in high school? Psychology, maths, IT, or science? <laughs> Apparently, psychology is not a science, guys. Confirmed. Uh, definitely science for me. I wasn't very good at math in high school. I didn't even take calculus until maybe my second year of college. I was a late bloomer. Definitely not psychology, uh, not IT. Okay. Where would you prefer to work? In an office or in a laboratory? I would rather work in the office at a national lab, but that's not an option. I'm assuming laboratory just means something more hands-on and experimental. That is definitely not my thing. I'd rather be in an office with a whiteboard alone with my thoughts any day. So let's go with that one. Well, I keep looking up here as if this is the question. I think her eyes made me look up there. Uh, what interests you the most? Understanding people's minds, matter and motion, computers, plants and animals, chemicals, or numbers. That's a lot of things. Definitely not understanding people's minds. I don't really care about that. Uh, matter and motion, sure, that sounds physics-y. Computers, also kind of cool can be really confusing and complicated in the most boring way. Plants and animals, hell no. Screw plants. <laughs> Chemicals and numbers, I'm gonna just go with matter and motion. Uh, which personality describes you the best? Good listener and communicator, compassionate and trustworthy. I'm not a particularly good listener. I need someone to go up and down with me at the elevators at all times, and I take things. Analytical, open-minded, and ambitious sounds about right. Introverted, detail-oriented, logical, and curious. That sounds a good amount like me. Detail-oriented? Uh, sort of, kind of, not really. I like an approximation in the morning. Persistent, patient, and motivated. That also sounds kind of like me, but this one, this one's more specific, and I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I just, I just laughed at a person in a wheelchair. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Which of these are you most passionate about? I'm very passionate about going into an open field in a wheelchair and just spreading my arms. Uh, technology research, helping people, inventions, changing the subject. Technology, definitely research. Research is pretty interesting. Silence phone. What do you most admire? Isaac Newton. Who do you most admire? Isaac Newton, Freud, Einstein. Zuckerberg the lizard, uh, Murray Curie, or Charles Darwin? I feel like this is the question that decides what field of science you should be going into because I, th I think if you were to pick Newton or Einstein, it would probably direct you towards either the math, physics, or engineering route. Freud would put you towards psychology. Zuckerberg would point you towards um, how to make be if how to do social media. <laughs> Mary Curie would probably also be physics, I guess. Or maybe chemistry. That's that's kind of a eh, it's a little bit of a gray area because physics was the thing that turned chemistry into a real science in the first place. Charles Darwin. Yeah, let's go with Einstein seems like such a cop out answer, but he's also so cool. Probably him. Which of these is most likely to be your yearbook description? The mad scientist, the therapist, the IT nerd, the math geek. Mad scientist sounds cool. I would I would take that in a heartbeat. I plan on having some completely wacky theories once I'm actually a theoretical physicist. So let's pick that one. Uh, why? What are, why are these pictures, do they exist? If you were stranded on an island and you could bring one thing, what would it be? Tissues, safety goggles, a calculator, or a computer? Tissues would probably be pretty useful, let's be honest. Uh, but those are that's so finite. 
depends on how many you could bring safety goggles you could probably like push them on your face real tight and then go underwater with them and then you could see underwater maybe wait do safety goggles have holes in them that would be weird if they did but i feel like they do i feel like they totally have holes in them uh calculator no computer computer would depend on whether or not you have like a personal hotspot if you can use internet because then you can get on Facebook and make a Facebook status and be like lol help so assuming I could use the internet I would do this one yeah I would do this one you can also do like coding fun stuff I guess without internet <laughs> I work best we got two more problems three more problems I work best both I feel like that was supposed to be the third one. Uh, as part of a team or on my own? Definitely on my own. I don't like working with people very much. <laughs> uh, I think I said that in the last video too. Which of these seems most fulfilling to you? Send people to space. Why would that, why would that fulfill you? Why would that fill you with any fullness? That'd be cool, I guess, but I, I don't know what I would get out of that. Invent something, that sounds, yeah. Find a cure for your, for a disease. It depends on the disease. If they're like Andrew, you cured. Let's just let's just pick on cancer. You you cured cancer. That would be amazing. But if it was like Andrew, you cured having freckles. People no longer have freckles anymore. It's not a disease. But if it was a disease, I whatever. <laughs> Help people with a mental illness get better. I have worked with several engineers before. That is pretty. That is pretty fulfilling. Uh, develop a software or a website from scratch. Sorry, I'm just laughing at my own joke. Uh, <laughs> invent something, sure. I think, because you can keep doing that. I, I don't think you can keep calling your shot on curing a disease. It's probably like a one and done type of thing. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do invent something. Uh, which quote do you most identify with? Life's too short to remove a USB safely. No, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. Uh, if it moved, you have on average like 70 something years. You have plenty of time to remove a USB. Say that one just, it doesn't identify with me. That one triggers me more than anything. If it moves, it's biology. If it stinks, it's chemistry. And if it doesn't work, it's physics. It sounds like such a dad joke by a physicist. So, I, so I'm kind of leaning towards that one, actually. Rule of maths, if it seems easy, you're doing it wrong. Story about life. Uh, keep talking, I'm diagnosing you. It sounds like a Sheldon Cooper type of thing to say. I like this one, though. That reminds me of this one quote I heard that was, or it wasn't a quote, it was just uh, categorizing other fields of science by how it's related to physics, like biology was squishy physics. I think chemistry was like smelly physics. So I'm gonna pick that one. Are we what da? Yes, we are. It's calculating. Physics! First try! <sighs> oh my god, all those years weren't for nothing. <laughs> Looks like a career in physics would be just right for you. Check out this link to find out what it takes to be a physicist. I swear I just read that as Subway. <laughs> I was like, oh, you want to do physics? Yeah, that's not going to happen here. Just Here's a Subway application. <laughs> if you want to help your friends, cool. I'm assuming this doesn't really take us anywhere. No. All right, so I got physics on the first attempt. Let me know in the comments section what you got, and I'll see you guys there.